How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I'm really excited to be here with you today. I'm actually filming today. Uh, on the weekend, I usually don't do that. But I wanted to come with five different ideas for biotech stocks, pharma stocks that are anywhere between $2 and about $80. So these are all companies I own. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. Two of these companies we actually added to when they fell. The other ones pretty much have just gone straight up, it seems like, since we bought them. But two of them we added when they fell. And one is actually at a little bit of a discount from when I bought it. So I want to bring you all these. All of these are disruptive companies. Now, I'm not saying that this is an all-inclusive list. I am sure that there are companies out there that should be included in my portfolio for biotech. But... You can only study so much, especially in a sector like this, where it's actually quite hard to understand what they do and measure it up compared to competitors. But if we look at the hot sectors over the last couple of weeks, over the last couple of months, biotech and space have been really the hot ones. Now, there have been some other ones that have been pretty good too, but these sectors have been on fire. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. There is a link down there in case you want to sign up for BlockFi and get some interest on your cryptocurrencies. I use it right now and have just under $30,000. And there's also a link down there if you want to check out Webull. You can get some free stocks there. All you have to do is deposit $100. And last thing, there is a link down there to my Patreon. If you want to know exactly when I buy and sell these kinds of stocks you can check that out we're only down on one of these companies right now and we're at about 35 percent up on the other and then all the other ones were up 100 percent or more so definitely check out that link if you want to know exactly when i buy and sell stocks and get access to about 4500 or actually 4700 other investors so definitely check that out too because you get to go in a chat room and talk with them all the time so the first company on this list is time and this one is the one that's at a discount. So right off the bat, I invest in this last week, I believe it was, and it's actually down about 8%. Now, I don't believe there's really any reason for this to be down. And uh, I should say too, I've done extensive videos on all these before. So in case any of these strike your eye and you want to know more about it, you can just go up to the search bar after the video is done and type in the ticker symbol or the name. Probably the ticker symbol will come up a little bit better. Uh, type that into the search bar for the channel. So definitely check that out. But time is the first one. They are a leader in cancer metabolism based therapies. These are innovative therapies to help stop cancer. Now, this is obviously a large market. They have been working with something called SM88, and they have had a lot of trials. They've had some positive results from their trials. But this is one of those ones where there are so many catalysts coming down the line. And if they're able to do what they want to do or even just help slow cancer, this is going to be big for the stock. Now, I bought, I believe, right over three this week. So I think it was on Wednesday I bought or Tuesday. And it's a little bit down since then. So I think it is trading at a bit of a discount right now. So I would check out the stock. Again, I'm not going real in depth on it. Uh, it is my newest stock that I bought in this portfolio with some of these other companies, but I would check it out. It's a company that again, fights cancer. If you want to see a more in depth of video, you can definitely check it out. The next one is one that I really like. It's T2 Biosystems. So if you don't know what sepsis is, it's a life-threatening condition that arises when the body's response to infection causes injury to its own tissues and organs. Now, this is a $41 billion a year industry. So doctors and nurses don't typically want to use the highest level antibiotics all the time because that can cause super strains of different viruses and germs. So what they do is they draw a blood sample they test it 24 hours, they put additional antibiotics in there, and then it's just a continuous cycle of having to check back in and test it and check back in. And it really is a delayed response to what's happening in the body. So it says here, every hour of delayed treatment increases mortality risk nearly 8%. So what this does is they can test for, they can rapidly detect, detect for sepsis within three to five hours of the first blood drawn, as opposed to like a day. So this is something that is really innovative. Uh, it's a company that I invest in. I like it a lot. And I bought I bought it 240, and now I have averaged down. So it went down to 215 afterwards. Now it's up to 330. I still think it's a pretty good value now. If you're looking long-term, if they're able to do what they wanna do, 
It is still cheaper than it was at one point when it went up to 380. And that was pretty much right after we bought, it went up to 380. Now I'm up about 40% or so. Again, I think it's a pretty good value. Now the next company, and by the way, this one is small. This one's only a $500 million market cap. So keep that in mind. Let's look at time real quick too, because I didn't hit on that. Time is also pretty small, under 500. So the next company I want to talk about is Dermtech. Now Dermtech is a company I held since it was under $40. Now it's right at $80. They just came out with news that they're working with the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas now to get access to 6 million more patients. Because it's $80, a lot of people don't understand. It's actually a small market cap, so it's still a small stock. It's just that they have less shares out there. So it still can have explosive growth. And what they have is they have stickers that are kind of like this that you put right over a mole that you think might be might have cancer. So what you do is you put that sticker on there, you draw around the mole, you send it in to the lab, and you do that with three or four of these stickers, and then they test for for skin cancer. Now, this is a 99% negative predictive value rate, which is really good. That's a really high number. They also have 91 to 97% sensitivity. They have really good numbers here. They, they are able to detect melanoma at a very high level. And I really like this. Again, I think so many people, so I should say, usually when you go test for skin cancer, they usually have to like take a sample and, you know, that's a lot more uncomfortable than just pulling off a sticker and having it pull off a couple layers of skin. So I think this is something that a lot of people will transition to. I mean, especially if you can just like call up your pharmacy, be like, uh, hey, I want a couple of these, and then you just send it in, as opposed to having to make a doctor's appointment, go see a doctor, have them biopsy here or take a sample of your mole, and then go back home. That's like a couple hour process. I think this would be so much easier for most people, and most people will want this once they hear about it. This one, again, is going up a little bit higher. It's in under $2 billion still. Now, again, like I said, it went up a lot. It went up, I think, since we bought it, again, about 100%, and it was sitting around $10, $11 before. So this is why it's important to pay attention, I think, to you know YouTube channels and other uh, other investing outlets because you can pick up on something like this that just obviously seems like something that will blow up once people hear about it and then it does so that's something to keep into consideration the next one is the sends system so sends is a stock that we've had for a while they're continuous glucose monitoring system they have a 90 day system which just if you don't know this is for like diabetes patients if you don't know the competitors are at 10 days and SENS is at 90 days already. They are they have their application submitted to the FDA for their 180-day system. And they're just waiting to get it back because it was pushed back because of the pandemic. But then they'll also try to get their 360-day system. The one negative uh, catalyst I could see for this stock is if they, for some reason, don't get the FDA clearance for their 180-day system, I think people will get worried. But I think it probably will go through. And when that happens, I think the stock price will go up even further. We're up about 150% on SENS just in the last couple months. We bought it at, I want to say 180, 190, something like that. And then it went back down to 150 because they did a share offering. I picked up more shares then. Now it's up to $4.20. Now, again, I think this is a disruptive thing. A lot of people have said that they would really like this if they if they could get their hands on it. So I think that it's still a good value if you're looking long-term. Again, with any of these, there are risks, and I'm not a financial advisor, so do your research. The last one is BNGO, and this is one that, you know, I still have a bunch of people reaching out to me, whether it's too late to buy into this one, Long term, if you are if you like the technology, I don't think it's too late. But again, there's more risk with any of these now that they've gone up. But BNGO really brought me in with this article or this, this uh, post, and I bought them the next day. So they had a side-by-side -side comparison versus PacBio, which is one of ARK Invest's largest holdings, and showed that their sequencing was more effective and it costs a lot less. So as opposed to $20,000, 10 to $20,000 per genome, the Sapphire system only costs $500 per genome. 
So a massive difference between the two. Then I, I just did more and more research and I liked what I saw. Over the long term, it's hard to tell where BNGO could go. I got in at a dollar and 25 cents. Now, just a couple months later, less than two months later, it's in at $14. There is so much FOMO in this one. There's so much excitement. There's so much potential. All of these things are going for it. So it's hard to know exactly where this thing will go, but I think if they're able to have a couple things happen, which I've explained recently in my BNGO videos, I think it could go up even further. I'm still holding on to this one. I'm still holding on to Sense. I'm still holding on to T2. I'm still hurting, holding on to Dermtech. I'm still holding on to Time. All of these, I feel like have so much potential in a growing industry. And these are still small companies. Even though BNGO has gone up 10X since I bought it, it's still, I think, right around a four, four to $5 billion company. Let's look at DMTK too, because again, some people just don't realize it because it's got a high stock price compared to these other ones. It's done under $2 billion. All of these, I think, have a bright future if they're able to do what they want to do. And a lot of people don't pay attention to these because they're not SPACs or you know, DMTK is too expensive per share for some people. All these other ones are too inexpensive because they're penny stocks. So people throw these out. A lot of people just won't look at them, but I think you should. I think you should take a look at these. If you guys aren't investors that like this much risk, you can also look at ARC-G, which is the ARC Genomics ETF. I hold on to it too. I don't hold that much. I hold maybe one to 2% of my total portfolio in that. So definitely check that out though if you don't want to do the research or if you don't want to take risks on individual stocks. Again, if you guys want to know exactly when I buy or sell stocks, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. If you guys want some free stock, you can check out the link down to, below to Weeble. And there is a link down there to BlockFi if you want an interest rate on your cryptocurrency. So it pays you monthly on your cryptocurrency. If you want to see any of these videos, search up in the search bar on my channel. And if you want to see the video that I did yesterday on BNGO, I'll put it up on the end screen here. Some pretty exciting news. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.